Here at Drumlins, doubles is played on these three courts. And on these courts, Syracuse has done a whole lot of winning. Well, they've done a lot of winning just about everywhere. When we get to the singles matches, they can't stop. After a 7-0 win over Army yesterday, Syracuse responded with a 7-0 win over Fordham this afternoon. A different pairing in doubles today as there was yesterday. And after the match, head coach Eunice Lamam said that throughout the course of this long season, he wants to see what he's got and mix things up. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, early on in the season, so we're, uh, we're figuring things out. Uh, we have a few players uh, that's going to be joining our uh, team soon, too, and just trying to, to come up with, uh, with options. Uh, as you guys all know, I mean, the ACC, it's, uh, it's very challenging, and it's, uh, it's a long schedule, so we're trying to, to see now what, uh, what combinations could help us when, uh, when it comes to it. But, uh, you know, today's match was uh, uh, a lot more challenging than yesterday and uh, super proud of the team. I thought uh, uh, on some courts we really responded uh, well with our body language and our energy when it came down to those last few games. Syracuse is now 2-0 and this year, the same spot they were in after opening weekend last year. And now next weekend, the Orange welcome in another Atlantic 10 foe, St. Bonaventure. The Bonnies have already lost this year, 6-1 to against Navy, and now next weekend, Saturday at 11 o'clock, they will face the Orange right here at Drumlins. I'm Josh Richardson, Citrus TV.